Hey everyone, Chen Chen here, bringing you guys another video. Today we got a fun little video for you guys that you might find useful, or I don't know, just if you want to know my opinion on specific auction runes, this video will be for you. I've never actually done this, and it could be pretty useful, I don't know. So for those of you asking, why don't you go conquer on auction? Why don't you go hail of blades on auction? This video will explain for you because it is going to be tiered, right? And generally speaking, when you have an S tier rune, you don't take a A or B tier over the S tier rune, right? So for all of you who tries Hailblades, Conquer, stuff like that, and tells me it's viable, this video will hopefully tell you otherwise. And first and foremost, I do want to mention this is my opinion, but obviously the opinion comes from being challenger with Auction for uh, multiple years and being one of the best in North America. With that being said, let's get straight into it. You can already see some not being um, available to the champion, whether it is you need CC, which Auction obviously doesn't have any, or you play Auction support. And let's be honest, no. All right, with that being said, let's get straight into it. We're going to go in order just because it's very easy, and I will kind of speed run this just because there is a lot. Starting off, we have PTA. Easily the best keystone on Auction. I don't personally think it's close, but I do want to put my bias aside and recognize that other top tier auction players run fleet, right? This is a pure understanding of preference, pure, purely. When people come to my stream and ask me, Chen Chen, why don't you ever go fleet? It's not my place now. I don't like it, right? That doesn't mean it's not viable. As you guys can see right here, if I'm putting fleet right next to PTA, and by the way, they're probably not going to be fully ordered. I'll try to semi-order them, but, you know, uh, different levels, different trees, it's very hard to order, but just know if it's S, it's really good. Uh, most likely go to every single time. If it's A, it's less likely, stuff like that, right? But yes, these two are the most bread and butter keystones, basically taking anything else and you are griefing basically, right? 99.999% of your games, you're, you're going to be taking these, okay? So that's why they're obviously S tier. We have Lethal Temple here. Now, there used to be a very interesting bug. I forgot what it was exactly. I think it was his double auto proccing Lethal Temple really fast, and there were some funky builds I was testing around with Phantom Dancer. Yeah, let's just say they patched that. B tier. Don't go it. It's a little bit more fun. If you go on hit on Auction, I can see a world where, don't go it, don't go it. It's not good, it's not good, okay? Um, if you go on hit, just go PTA, you're going to out damage or go fleet if you need a kite. You do not need lethal tempo at all whatsoever. Conquer is actually in the same boat. Now, Conquer is interesting because you can proc it decently well, but it just doesn't give you value. It's, it's like so useless on auction. Um, so yeah, for that reason, it's going to go B tier. Now, this is actually very old tier list, where we don't have first strike, which kind of blows. So we have to settle with Kleptomency, basically acting acting as first strike. I mean, they're very similar rune, right? One gave you fucking pots and, and shit and gold, the other gives you just guaranteed gold. First strike is unironically A tier. So when I was mentioning 99.99% of games where you want to go these two... That very rare niche game where you feel like having some fun, First Strike is actually not bad on Auction. It really isn't. I made a video about it. It's really good into a lot of tank matchups. Generally speaking, PTA is just going to be better into tank matchups. But if you're feeling a little spicy, you know, maybe it's the flavor of the week. First Strike isn't bad. It is there. Overheal. Overheal is interesting. Um, they've been changing this a lot. So I think it used to be actually fairly decent on Auction if you want to go some sort of lifesteal build. But I will say lifesteal as a trait isn't really needed for Auction. So we're going to put a B tier here. There's better options like the, the opposition uh, is Triumph and Palm. And I feel as if it's just never close. You're basically never taking overheal. Uh, unless you're going for like Fleet overheal and then Legend Bloodline. And you're going some crazy ass like one or two lifesteal build, I don't know, some dark alchemist cooking, and then maybe I could see overheal being decent, but generally, we'll keep it at B. Next, we have Triumph. Triumph is, I'm in between putting it S and A. I think we'll put it A in the sense that you don't really, you don't really care that you have Triumph, if that makes sense. Similarly, I mean, ugh, this is hard, because I would easily put POMS. 
The reason being is Auction is a reset champ, right? Auction is a reset champ. Actually, this is fine. Auction is a reset champ, so when he goes in, right? Let's say a team fight, whether it's early game, mid game, late game, he goes in, he resets, he already used, let's say he went top and shoved out a couple waves and he's very low on mana, but he had one E in him and he killed someone. POM is there to literally help you get another E, so you have enough mana for another E, and then, you know, continue doing that, whereas Triumph can't. Now, the reason why this feels a little bit weird is because I do know Aksha mains, Drew 2 specifically, that actually prefers Triumph over POM. I think that depends on top lane, but generally speaking, I'll put POM S, but just know Triumph. It's it's more or less a preference thing, but at the same time, I feel as if POM just synergized so well with Aksha, so we'll keep it here. Alacrity. Alacrity is going to go A here because you don't really care for it, but it's there. Tenacity, you don't need Tenacity on Auction C tier. Don't go Tenacity ever. Bloodline, I'm going to go B for the same reason as Overheal. You do some crazy Alchemist thing, you cook up like a 3 lifesteal build, and Bloodline is there. Generally speaking, Alacrity is always better than Bloodline, but it's not even S tier yet because you just don't really care for it, right? It's literally just the best, and it's tree. Coupe de Gras is next, and I'm going to put this A tier. Same thing as Alacrity. You don't really care. You really, really do not care that you have it, but just because you're going for PTA, it's there, right? Cut down, I'm going to put B tier, because very rarely, I mean, we all know Auction's identity as not really a tank killer, and going cut down is just admitting, hey, I'm playing to kill tanks, but I could have locked in any other AD carry and done the job better. So generally speaking, yes, Auction can deal with tanks, building on hit, building Bork, building BT, or, uh, you know, Black Cleaver, stuff like that. He can deal with tanks, but that's not his primary job. We'll put that B. Last stand, I'm actually going to put A because I know a lot of, especially Koreans, like once again, these two are preference things, whichever you want. Um... I know a lot of Koreans like Last Stand because they like the dueling prowess, you know, they like being low HP, swinging in, taking a lot of damage, but that swing, while mid-swing, let's say you lost half your HP, Last Stand is kicking in, stuff like that, right? Very niche instances, I think it's very minimal as to the difference between these two. Me personally, I go Triumph, or Coupe de Gras. Alright, moving on to the red tree, Electrocute. Electrocute's actually not even bad. Um, me personally... I'll admit it, I've probably ran it maybe once in my life, but since I know how to play Auction and since I know how Auction works, I can see it as not being great. In the sense that PTA is always going to be better, right? Predator, don't go it. Dark Harvest, don't go it. Hail of Blades, Hail of Blades is unironically better than these two, but don't go it. Cool. <laughs> we moved past the red main trees. Now, the secondaries. Taste of Blood is not bad. But I don't see a reason into going it because there's better options. For example, Sudden Impact. Sudden Impact is actually pretty darn good. Especially if you're going like a crit build. Um, a crit build with extra lethality from Sudden Impact. And that shit is packing. Alright. This is Zombie Ward. Generally speaking, any of the Zombie Ward and Ghost Ward, you don't go. Because Eyeball Collection is just infinitely better. Right. Um, you never want to go these, Eyeball is just infinitely better, and also these just don't play into Auction, right? He doesn't really want to place a bunch of wards to get Ghost for a value, and I don't believe in building Sweeper on Auction and maintaining Sweeper. He doesn't play as a Sweeper champ, he plays as a Gather Knowledge champ, and that's why you go Blue Ward. Cool. Now we have, uh, okay, so once again, this is an old website. Unfortunately, I tried to find a recent one, but they don't have it. This is going to be Treasure Hunter. The rune that gives you gold. Treasure Hunter is not bad. We'll put it A tier. Because who doesn't like gold, right? Who does not like gold? Now, Ingenious is pretty fucking dog water. Um, back in the old days, if you go like a Gale Force build, I could see it being decent. Maybe, I'm not going to lie, there might be a build where you go Gale Force and Mortal Shield Bow. And the Ingenious actually kicks in and can maybe be a B tier. But otherwise, the other Hunters are just better. For example... Uh, Relentless Hunter is actually pretty darn good. It's kind of slept on. Auction likes a roam. So if you are a roam heavy player and you play Auction, Relentless might be better than Treasure Hunter. Right? Next, Ultimate Hunter. That's laughable. Auction's ulti is the worst part of his kit. Do not go that. Cool. That is the red tree. Now we have the blue tree, the sorcery tree. Summonary. Don't go it. 
Arcane Comet, don't go it. Phase Rush, don't go it. Cool. These are all spells. Self-explanatory. Um, Nullifying Orb is unironically not bad. If this gate, if Riot gave this rune a little bit of a buff, just a little bit, I can easily see this actually being A tier to S tier. Unironically, especially in the mid lane. Um, it's pretty fucking good. But for now, I'll put it B tier. Sometimes you can take it if you're very insecure and want the shield. It's not bad. You don't care for mana flow. You don't care for movement speed. Transcendence is... You don't care for ability haste. Cool. Celerity is not bad as well. Because who cares? Movement speed is movement speed, right? Um, this applies into your W. Uh, whenever you mark a scoundrel. Now, personally, I've never ran it. But just, you know, thought process how it sounds. It doesn't sound terrible. Are there better options? Yes. For example, Absolute Focus is actually insane in the sorcery tree. The main reason why Koreans run the blue tree secondary is actually for absolute focus. I'm not going to put it S tier yet, just because it's a very unique playstyle. It's a very, oh, in this situation it worked, in this situation it was useless, stuff like that, but it is not a bad rune whatsoever. And then Scorch is also going to go A tier, just because, I mean, this is literally what they run, right? Koreans love to run um, Scorch plus Absolute Focus, so they get early game, and then they get more Prowless whenever they're fuller HP, stuff like that. Water Walking, you don't really care for this, and then Gathering Storm's not bad either. I would probably put it... I wouldn't put it on the same tier as these, so we'll, we'll, we'll put it B. Perfect. Moving on, we have the Green Tree. We have Grasp of the Undying. Now, I would say it's very similar to these guys, so I'll just put a B tier. I would truthfully say it's a little closer to A and B, like directly dab in the middle. But the only thing is, PTA is just always better. Like if you're if you're going Bruiser and want to go Grasp stacking HP, PTA is just going to outvalue Grasp infinitely. So we'll put a B tier. Demolish is not bad. In specific matchups, especially top lane, bro, I can easily see going Demolish and just fucking playing Tristana V2, right? Um, it's not bad. And, and I, I don't know exactly what matchups you would do it. Like, let's say maybe a Soraka mid, right? You already know she's not going to be playing lane. She's going to be roaming. Maybe Nunu mid, stuff like that, right? Demolish could be pretty good value. Shield Bash, this used to be good, honestly. Like, it used to be S tier, but I think as Auction players evolved, it has slowly become worse. It's not bad by any means. It's just kind of there. Um, but yeah, Conditioning. We'll put it B tier. This is also, I feel, as if slept on, um, especially as we're, you know, on the rise of discovering Bruiser Auction. I feel as if conditioning can have promise, but generally speaking, there's just other better trees. For example, Bone Plating, which I'm going to put Bone Plating S tier. Might be controversial, but I basically, whenever I run Auction Secondary and I run Green Tree, I have Bone Plating no matter what. Why? People tell me, Chen Chen, what if, what if the champion pokes off your Bone Plating? Cool. But I'm not I'm not taking bone plating necessarily for that reason. I'm taking bone plating for so many other reasons. For example, burst mages. Syndra, for example, you might be like, oh, go second win because she'll poke you. Not really. Towards mid to late game, she's going to throw her load and potentially one-shot you. That's where bone plating can come in handy. And the other thing that people forget is whenever Auction roams top or bots, right? And let's say let's say they throw their abilities on him. Boneplate is going to always be up and always have value in those roams. So it could literally be the difference of life or death. And that's why I think Boneplate is unironically S tier. And yeah, second win will go A tier. It's not bad by any means, but rarely will I ever go it. Uh, but because Boneplate is just better. Now Overgrowth is very interesting. I'm tempted to put Overgrowth at S tier as well. Just because... I'll put it S tier, I'll put it S tier. The reason being is because they literally buffed Auction in the sense that he has armor and HP, more armor and HP, and Overgrowth gives you more HP. Cool. Revitalize, that's kind of a meme. It does increase your shielding power, and I believe it increases lifesteal as well, but who cares? Those are, no one cares for that. You're not playing Auction for that. Once again, CC doesn't matter, so you don't ever take unflinching. Moving on, oh, you cannot go Glacial. Uh, unsealed spell buck. Don't go, please. Hex, Hex Flash. Don't go that. 
Magical footwear is not terrible. If Oxygen wasn't reliable or isn't reliant on roaming, for example, if you play Oxygen top, I can easily see Magical footwear being A tier, but I play him mid, so there's a little bit of bias. I'll put him B, um, just because you want early boots, and that would obviously halt your early boots. Stopwatch, Oxygen doesn't use stopwatch very well, not needed. Futures Market, I'll put B tier as well. This is just a super broken rune. It literally cheats so many tempo um, situations. They didn't nerf it recently, but I still feel as if it's pretty decent. If you do opt for Inspiration, you can definitely opt into this. You don't need Wave Clear. You don't need it at all. You're playing Auction. Don't go Minion Dmats. Biscuits is not bad as well. If you're in a hard matchup, I could easily see Magical Footwear plus Biscuits in the top lane, and it'd be pretty good. Cosmic, I'll put B tier as well. Flash is pretty good. Ignite is pretty good. If you're going TP, top lane, auction, TP is pretty good, right? Um, and then also in terms of, I believe it gives ability, it gives you um, item haste as well. Um, and if you go Gale Force, stuff like that, it's not bad. Uh, approach velocity, you don't have any slows. I'll actually put that there. Time Warp Tonic, that's a meme. All right, last thing before this video ends, we got the mini trees. All right, adaptive. Now, on the presumption that you're not taking it on the first mini tree, I'll put it A tier. I don't even know how to rate these, to be honest. I mean, I'll put this S tier because you take this every single game. You will never, never not take this as your first tree, right? Your first one shall always be attack speed. Your second one shall always be adaptive. Cool. TDR, do not take this. That's a meme. Now, in terms of mini trees, once again, because of the recent buff that auction got, health scaling is actually not bad. I'll put it A tier. And then... I think I just got to put these S tier. Actually, no, we'll, we'll just put them all A tier because you take them evenly, literally depending on matchup, right? And there you guys have it. That is the auction rune page, uh, rune tier list for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you found it useful. If you didn't, let me know. Comment down below. Also, let me know if you agree or disagree with any of these. I think I hit pretty much the nail in the coffin for a lot of these. Uh, maybe some, you know, personally, I don't have too much to say on it, for example, I've never actually ran Conquer Auction, so maybe it's just hidden OP, but I can kind of imagine it being a little bit worse than um, the rest. Stuff like that. But that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Ciao, ciao.